beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Judy and I focus mainly on fashion beauty and lifestyle today I'll be showing you how I achieve this high poof slash a pineapple top slash a bun slash 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 on my 4c short natural hair you should definitely keep on watching if it's your first time here I would appreciate you hitting that red subscribe button I do upload videos like these each and every week don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and definitely leave leave a comment down below. Without further ado guys, let's get into today's video. Hey beautiful people, so this is uh, my uh, freshly washed uh, natural 4C short hair <laughs> and uh, I will be uploading my wash day routine in uh, a future video so just stick around for that, there's nothing much to it. So it's still slightly damp but because I want to achieve uh, for this particular look, I'm going to go ahead and spritz it to um, basically rejuvenate it with some water but before I do so if you have watched any of my future videos you know a girl loves to work in sections so I'm just basically using my fingers to section off my hair in four sections because I believe it's easier to work that way so for my ladies who aspire to do their own hair um, and is having any form of challenges, my first um, rule of thumb would be to work in sections. This is how basically I started doing my hair and uh, makes it so easy when I actually work into sections. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, spritz my hair back with some water even though it's slightly damped. Going in now with my Cantu Daily Moisturizer. This is basically the line of products that I mainly use in my hair. I try not to use like a whole bunch of products but if I'm using a particular brand I try to stick with the entire line just to ensure or to see how it works. Next I'm going in with the, cur um, the cream curl as well as the shea butter and I just like to mix those two together to give my hair extra moisture and of course it wouldn't be a tutorial without my Jamaican black castor oil which I love to use towards um, the root or the scalp of my hair I just always use this in my um, hair routine especially af after a wash day and I believe that just helps to lock in my moisture okay. I'm just basically making a smaller sections or medium sized sections um, detangling that uh, nicely and then I'm just gonna do a two strand twist and as I said I just basically finished washing my hair so it's slightly damp and you'd have seen where I have a uh, respritz it after making those twists I'm gonna go ahead and use some mousse this part is optional and uh, for stretching my short natural 4C hair, I'll be using the African stretch method, which takes absolutely no heat. So if you have time to let your hair sit for overnight, you can try this technique. So you won't your hair won't suffer heat damage, especially if you have breakage in your hair. I have breakage like towards the front of my hair and I am trying to work on my edges because from everything ever since I have a thin edges so I'm really trying to preserve what is left and to basically have that grow up back so all I'm doing now is to basically using my hair tie to um it will like a, you can use elastic band or a hair tie to rubber band your hair so i just started from the roots and i just went all the way down to the end of the hair i'll be demonstrating this a few more times so this guys is super easy and a very safe and effective way to dry your hair and stretch your hair without heat once you hear the rhythm playing promise you won't be complaining i'll be here for you if it's for you my body gets to sway and promise you won't be complaining And I'll be saying, yeah Can I dance for you? Would that be cool? Can I dance for you? Would that be cool? 
so you may have observed like for each section before doing my two strand twist I always try to ensure that my hair is properly detangled and detangling my hair I like to go from the end from the end of the hair up to the roots of the hair because it obviously will give you less breakage in uh, your natural hair so there I'm going again applying my mousse and then I'm going to use my hair tie and just hair tie that down until I get to the ends of my hair it is optional guys if you want to bend the end of your hair or you want to make that straight at the end of my video you'll see basically like a slight difference in you know, um, how your poof or your high top will turn out in regards to the end if you want to have it sticking out like I did or I'm going to do then you can leave it like this if not then you can go ahead and bend the end so this is what I am working with and I'm gonna just leave it like this go about my day and in the night I'll just um, put my bonnet on like this and <laughs> once it's properly dried because I did not want to get you know like any excess oil on uh, my sheets or on my pillow so I just ensured that I used my silk bonnet to lock in all my moisture uh. now I'm going to go ahead and remove my hair tie by simply holding um, my hair and then um, gently slipping that off it just comes right off because you know the moisture is there so when I reach to the root I just try to remove that as gently as I possibly can and then I'm gonna just go ahead and use my fingers to unravel my two strand twist and you want to be like as gently as you possibly can because you want to maintain those little crimps that you may have so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for my entire head of hair guys if you have made it thus far into the video please if you have not already liked the video as to I don't know why it might be an oversight just go ahead right now and give the video a big thumbs up it does help your girl out do remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and leave a comment down below it does help my video out Now I'm going ahead and I'll be using my pick comb. If you don't have a pick, then you can use a wider tooth comb. The aim is just to get those roots fluffed out without going too much to the top of your hair because you don't want to disrupt your curls that you have achieved. <laughs> um, yeah, so after doing that, I'm just going to use my brush and I'm going to maneuver my hair to, into a puff, into that high pineapple puff, which then I'll be using this uh, elastic band this is just an elastic band I had laying around my house if you have something stretchy or even a shoelace it can be used I'm just basically loosely applying that because I'm just gonna try to maneuver my hair to get that high puff but before I do so I'll be using my got to be glue sorry my got to be gel as well as my hair wax and I'm gonna go ahead and brush in my edges as well as the back of my hair because you know even though it's a high puff and it's an it's your it's a, like a natural hair style you want it to be you know as neat or as possible sleek as then as you can get it so that's what I'm doing right there and I'm just gonna go ahead and do two little side soup sweeps <laughs> uh, but towards the front of my hair um, this part is optional as well you can go ahead and go all out and do your baby hairs and all that jazz but this is what I have just decided to do which is just literally two small sweeps um, towards the front of my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that same to the side of my hair by pulling that you know a section out and then using my comb to make a little twist to it so it gives me that you know kind of look a cutesy kind of vibe you know we're going for that cute vibe or whatever <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and remove that hair tie, well that rubber band that we initially tied on. I'm going to try to fluff out my roots a little bit more. The more you can fluff your roots guy is the bigger or the higher your puff will eventually come out. So I'm just doing that to you know maneuver mine a bit. I didn't want mine like too extra puffy. So depending on how far you pull that elastic band that determines the side of your poof. So that is where I wanted mine 
line and I'm just gonna secure my uh, um, uh, elastic band with uh, some with a hairpin at the end and I'm just gonna push that under and once more try to maneuver my little curls that I managed to achieve <laughs> and this is what I was saying regarding the ends of your hair if you want to bend it so it doesn't have that you know sticking out like mine then you can go ahead and do so then I just went ahead and finished off the look with some spray sheen. Guys, if you have enjoyed this little cute natural updo, it's the cutest, easiest, most hairstyle to achieve. Do give this video a big, big thumbs up. As per usual, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. My name is Jodi and I aspire to inspire. Until next time, guys, walk good. Can I dance for you?